Conrad Eford, he was our membership chairman of BFW Post 618. He was responsible for bringing in new members, making sure members paid their dues, <laughs> making sure members that we lost, going out and finding them. And he, he was in the VFW over, over 30 years. Over 30 years since he retired from the military, he became a member. And he's been the membership chairman for about the last 12 years. And he's responsible for members. He, he lived it. He worked it every day. Every day, every night. That's that's what his, his main concentration on was veterans and members. He was one of the main reasons as to why I'm a member because he's... He supports veterans, especially single women, and um, you know, especially veterans that are here in the community don't have resources. And he was part of the reason as to why I joined. in the world had a one one opportunity to feel this this amount of love it's it's overwhelming it's overwhelming it's overwhelming thank you thank you thank you to everybody um, because of COVID we're not able to do like I was telling someone else today we're not able to do the honors burial the way it has historically been done so today we memorialize my father in a different way. So maybe there will be no 21 gun salute. Maybe there will be no official playing of the taps. And maybe there won't be an official folding of the flag, but he knows, he saw, we did. You know, I just started calling and emailing and reaching out to everybody we know to put this parade together so we can try to give him the going away that he rightfully deserved. And that's that's why we're here today. And you see the results of, of you know of what happened. So we'll, we'll never forget it. We went with everything that's going on right now, this is the way that you show someone how much you loved and how much you supported them. This is the way this veterans is, act. This is the way veterans supporting veterans. That's what, that's what it's all about. Well, to me it's that there, you know, all the veterans that serve in Vietnam, most of them are heroes, okay? And I, I respect them. Okay. He was one of our members. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely an honor to be able to come out and pay respects like this to someone. Because the bikes were coming out at the stoplight when I was at the stoplight at the back of the line. So it completely wrapped around. So he affected a lot. And then the people that were standing outside, I didn't expect that either. It was very touching. Um, we believe in honoring our country, honoring our flag, honoring our soldiers, our veterans. We believe in that wholeheartedly. Um, and today showed it. Today showed it. <laughs>